Many winemakers these days are opting to seal their bottles with technological corks. These are stoppers made of molded particles of natural cork, which have undergone a purification treatment to remove the TCA molecule and other contaminants, which can give wine a musty odor. A specialized worker makes cuts in the bark with an ax, using a very specific technique that doesn't harm the tree. Using the handle of the ax, he gently pries off the bark. A cork oak typically lives for 300 years and can be harvested up to 15 times, grinds those pieces into granules, and then stores them in huge bags. The first step is to empty the bags into silos that feed the purification equipment. The machines which purify the cork granules are giant autoclaves. Workers fill each one with a ton of granules. Then they start up a compressor which simultaneously heats and pressurizes carbon dioxide that then transforms into a semi-liquid gas called supercritical CO2, which is an environmentally friendly solvent. They inject the supercritical CO2 into the autoclave and wash the granules in it for three hours. The manufacturer mixes it with a food-safe binding agent and transfers the batch to the molding line. The molding machine is computer controlled to automatically adjust the molds to the dimensions of the stopper being produced. The machine pours the cork mix into the molds, which then go into an oven for a few minutes. The ingredients bake into a solid stopper with just the right degree of elasticity. Every stopper made in the same mold shape is identical. But no two stoppers cut from the whole pieces of cork are ever the same because cork has natural variations. This is merely the cork's preliminary shape. A computer-guided machining center refines them to exactly the shape ordered. After finalizing the dimensions, the machine chamfers one or both ends. A chamfer is a beveled edge that makes it easier to insert the cork into the bottle. Every cork then passes in front of a camera, which detects any defects. This machine conducts a permeability test on a few samples from each batch to measure how much oxygen flows past the cork when it's in position in the bottle. The corks are usually custom marked for a specific winery.